Hello everyone, Deo here. For this video, I'll be showing you how to maximize the Make It Rain campaign, where you will earn 50% more MGP during the event. This will allow you to become one step closer to get that Cold Saucer Mount, Cosmetic, and Triple Triad card you have always been wanting. First, the 50% MGP bonus stacks with other MGP bonuses, such as the free company action called Jackpot, which is 10% and lasts for 24 hours, or the Gold Saucer VIP card which gives 15% but only for 2 hours. You can get this VIP card from squadron missions called Black Market Crackdown which gives 5 and Counter Magnetic Exercise which gives 10 VIP cards. As for the free company action, you need to be part of an FC which has this bonus activated so you better be in an active FC. Speaking of active FCs, the Enlightened Sinners free company in Elemental Ramu is recruiting and you can bet your fat black chocobo we will have this action active during the event. The link for the community finder of this FC is down below if you want to know more. Second, do your weekly challenge logs. If you look under your log menu, you will see the challenge log. Check at the gold saucer category and you will see all of the challenges and their respective rewards. This challenges involves doing all the gold saucer attractions a certain number of times. These rewards range from 1000 to 12000 MGP and they are affected by the event bonus. I will be explaining more and giving tips on this topic later in the video. Next is Fashion Report, which is a weekly event where you need to show up with a certain gear that matches the theme being asked for that week. The theme resets every Tuesday 4pm GMT plus 8 and judging starts every Friday night at 7pm GMT plus 8. I suggest follow Kyoko Star on their social media to be updated on Fashion Report. I'll put links in the description. Another way is to join an FC Discord like Enlightened Sinners and in that said FC Discord they happen to have a bot channel where you can just type exclamation point fr for fashion report and the bot will show you the gear for that week you can also have the specified gear as glamour and it will be counted be sure to have every slot equipped when presenting yourself for judging you only need 80 points or two team appropriate gear to get 60k mgp the next weekly is the jumbo cackpot which is basically a lottery every week drawing of the winning numbers are done every saturday at 8 pm gmt plus 8 and you get bonus MGP for getting your rewards early. Here is the reward list. Now let's talk about the mini cack pot. This can be done 3 times a day and resets at the same time with your daily roulettes. Basically, you pick 3 circles to reveal the numbers and after that, you pick a column or row where you will add those numbers and based on the sum, you will get rewards. The numbers you want are 1, 2, 3 or 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3 should always be your priority since it gives the highest MGP rewards. What I do here is I just make a triangle or pyramid and from that I can predict or assume where 1, 2, 3 or 7, 8, 9 could be. Third, the limited time events called gates or gold saucer active time events similar to fates. This happens every hour and after every 20 minutes. It will spawn a random gate which can be a jumping puzzle, dodging AoE, or a shooting game. The rewards are affected by the event and FC or VIP bonus. You can do the mini games while waiting for the gate to spawn and these mini games are also affected by both event and FC or VIP bonus. Lastly, I will now talk more on the challenge logs. For triple try challenge logs, open duty finder and queue in the battle hall. Once you are in, Look for this cat girl and duel her until you have all of the challenge logs for the triple triad are done. And remember, challenge log rewards are only affected by the event bonus. As for Lord of Arminian challenge logs, just do stage 4 of battle challenge called Little Big Beast and spam a lot of puppet minions like Hildebrand. As for the other challenge logs, minigames just pick a game you like minus the harvest minigame near the Verminion Square. For chocobo races, can't really give much tips since it's mostly stamina management and a bit of RNG. For mahjong, I don't really play it. Those are my tips and I hope they were useful. How about you? Do you have any tips or found a mistake in the video? Please point it out in the comments below. Before I end the video, I would like to show a picture by Kyoko Star which is a rundown of all of the gold saucer attraction and their respective rewards. Once again, thank you and their socials are in the description. Thanks for watching.